What looks like a small piece of plastic has become a big tool in the fight against breast cancer. 24 Hour News 8's Emily Leonard went inside the only hospital in West Michigan using Biozorb. I took this to radiation every day. Barbara Harvey has had an incredibly optimistic outlook when it comes to her fight with breast you know, cancer. I think when we all hear the C word, we kind of panic and I'm like, I'm a firm believer of one day at a time. It was just over a year ago when she went for her annual mammogram, something she says she's done religiously. By the time I got home, they were calling me saying I needed to get in for another appointment for another mammogram. Within a month's time, she was under the knife of surgeon Dr. Jamie Carran at Mercy Health Wax Cancer Center in Grand Rapids. For breast surgeons like myself and my partner, it's been really exciting to have an alternative to offer women to help fill the space of tissue when we remove um, a partial mastectomy specimen. For about two years now, Dr. Carran and her partner have been using this small device made of suture material. It's called Biozorb. She calls it one of the best surgical advances she's seen in a long time. For us, this has been something that we've always kind of dreamed about. During a lumpectomy, Biozorb takes the place of the tissue removed. Surgeons aren't the only ones using Biozorb. From a uh, radiation oncology standpoint, there's little clips embedded in it that gives the radiation oncologist a three-dimensional target to make their radiation planning more accurate and safe. A year later, Barbara's been happy with her results with Biozorb, and she's counting her blessings and of doctors and friends who stood by her during her fight with breast cancer. I got the best of a bad thing. In Grand Rapids, Emily Leonard, 24-Hour News 8.